Uh, uh, no, I forgot that. Uh, uh, Ooh, I forgot that. Uh, ain't nobody crying, bro. You're a nobody. So why would I cry about you? I have no fear for you. I really don't even like you to even have a conversation with you. But if you want to come on the panel, you can come on. Stop running. Your boy say I'm running and make a video. And you got it. Yo, he, and then you put in the comment. I don't think I'll ever. You're right. I don't think I'll ever have a debate with you on the Exodus because I don't think it's worthy. But if you want to come on and talk about it right now, hit the link. Let's go. So, so hold on a second. This is why I don't like this dude. You're going to tell me what I could talk about on my show? Who, who the F are you? Who are you? Who the hell are you? You're nobody. Well, why are you talking about this now? I could talk about whatever I want to talk about. It's my show. What's up, Black Line? Oh, chill. Man, what's going on with you? you? I can't stand these niggas. Serve no purpose. <laughs> no it's purpose. It's unbelievable, man. It's crazy. No purpose. You hate no. somebody, but you get. So when he comes on, on Black Line, hold on, hold on, hold on, Black Line. The first thing he got to do is provide that source that says that the Shah Su. All right, here we go. Here we go. Where's the Shah Su and the uh, um and the uh, and and these these Asiatics combining together and going into Israel? Where's it at? So Yara, since he don't want to come on, Yara, come on, Yara. Maybe you have the answers to the questions. What's going on, man? What do you need, Garfield? I need to get the Shah Su and those Asiatics that combined together and left out because Manfred Bitak provided that information. Let's Hold go. on, real quick, just just so I'm clear. You're refusing to debate anonymous on debate talk for you after having agreed to do so on your own channel, bro. I could do whatever I want to do. I'm just, I'm just trying to be clear. I'm trying to make sure I understand what's going on, bro. Nah, don't worry about it, Orthodox. More y'all, all of y'all are some suckers to me. I'm no, so you. when you say, but when you say, I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. You don't go on another man's channel. This talk about me disparagingly and expect me to sit down and have a decent conversation with you. It's called a bitch move. Okay, but the bitch move you made bitch when you move. say when you That's say no, just, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on real, real, real quick. No, let me, let me real quick. So is it a bitch move? Is it a, is it a bitch move to ask me to take down the video uh, that I have because it shows no, you? No, because hold on, wait, 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 wait. But 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 it's still up on Brian's channel. Is that a bitch move? No, 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 no. Listen to me, kid. It's, it's not a bitch move to ask me to take down the video, but not ask Brian. How you know I didn't ask Brian? Because it's still up. Oh, okay, all right. Did you ask Brian? Did you, did you do you know if I asked him? I know you didn't ask for him. Oh, you know. Okay. Did you ask for him? Interesting. You just said you know. Did, yeah. So you answer the question. You're bearing false witness. Yeah. If I'm bearing false witness, you can prove it wrong by showing me that showing me the, the, the discourse you got, bro. I'm not sure you're not that relevant, bro, to show and prove anything to. If no, I'm not that relevant, why did you why no, did you why no, did you track no, no, me down opponent. to call me I, to ask me to take that video? That if I'm not that right relevant, right? That's a conversation me If I'm not that relevant, why did you track me down to call me to ask me to take that video? It's fine. Because you talked about this person, this in a disparity. Hey, let's stop all the plans. Let's do the Exodus. Yeah, so that's, that's this Hebrew call. killer got no crown, right? The about. Hebrew killer is wearing no clothes. Let's see the Hebrew killer. All right, let's go. Let's go. All right, let's go. Yara, let's go. What do you want to talk about? No, 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 no. You ask me, brother. I'm You're dealing with the Exodus. Okay, we deal with the Exodus. Let's go. Prove the Exodus. Let's go. Drop your right. question. So, just like I smacked you earlier when we talked about this the first time. Now, let's let's hold on there. Who is that talking? What difference does it make, bro? Nah, you ain't gonna come on my channel and talk to me like that, bro. Wait a minute. So, so you, so that's, you that's one time. Hey, look, hold on. Hold on. You coming with the nigga shit? Stay over that bullshit channel and do that. He already killed. I got dollars coming up my shit. I just came. I got dollars. Let's have a respectful conversation, bro. I just came on and he kicked me off. Fuck y'all. Come on, bro. Calm Fuck down, Garfield. I don't need to have a conversation <laughs> with you niggas. Fuck you. Get the hell out of here. 
if you want to have a conversation, <laughs> especially Yara, Yara, you could come on. But if you're gonna be disrespectful, don't. Hey, 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 listen, Garfield. Listen, Garfield. I never came no sideways at none of y'all niggas. Hey, y'all go here and talk all Garfield, that first of all, first Yara, of all, you first know of me, Yara. Yara first of all, you Garfield. know me. You've been yeah. on my channel. Yeah, okay, you know me. Time. Hold on, I've bro. never disrespected you. No, bro, never. And, I've never, and I've never disrespected you. But how is it that this nigga coming on my channel to come disrespect me? But he didn't disrespect you, though, brother. He disrespected me. He didn't disrespect you. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. This nigga is whack. He's whack. All right, let me put him on. Let's go. Okay, since you want to you're talking shit, where's the information bro, about bro, um, the shot from, from Manfred Beta? Bring more back home, bro. Bring Let's start back. with that. Yara, stop. Let's no, start with that. That's not, that's not where we start. No, you said you no. were going to bring that information oh, back. I'm oh, trying to show oh, you that oh, you're oh, fake. Relax, relax. You're making up shit. Relax, relax. Calm down, bro. Let's go. No, no. That's the first thing first. That's it's what not, we're going to do. That's not how this works, bro. No, yeah, no, this is my channel. This is how it works here. Hey, you, you looking real bad right now. You looking bad, dude. Do, because I don't care for y'all niggas. Then you kick me off. Right no, I'm not. Right 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 Where is the information that you made up? You talking about EM180 and Garfield didn't know I was EM180. Where is this information that you have? I'm showing you that you're a disingenuous. You looking real bad now. You. So I don't care. No, I don't. But you said he's disrespectful. Let's go. Hold on. You hold can't up, have the conversation. You know I don't need you right now. At Black Line, I don't even need y'all on the panel. Let me deal with this dude one on one. Now, where is the information that you said on the show the last time? Hold on. Do you have that information? If you're you gonna remove everybody, remove everybody. No, no, don't run now, nigga. Don't run, run now. Who, who, who running? Don't run. Where run? is the information? I want to make it known. I ain't call you out your name. Okay. Then, right? Where is the information? Go. Yes, you did on, my, on, the, on on that channel. You over there with them niggas. Yeah. No, now, that, where that was a bunch of other people calling you out your name. I just where said you had Where is the information? Where is the information that you have? That's not how this works. Fake. That's not how this works. You First are off, fake. Let's okay. Then kick me off. I'm not kicking you off. I'm okay, then allow me to speak. You with information. Then let's allow go. me to speak. Let's you go allow, with the exit. Are you gonna allow let's me to go. speak? Are you gonna allow me to speak? Of course. All right, appreciate you, bro. So, first, let's address the entire conversation. You say the exodus never happened, correct? The exodus, as written in the biblical text, did not happen. No. Okay, so let's deal with this first. So, according to what the, the main scholar who we know has dug in this area the is a person that has what the main person, the main scholar who has dug in this area is a brother, is a, is a, I ain't gonna call him a brother, but a person named Manfred B. Tech, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So he would have the most work on this, correct? As far as archaeology, not as if, far as archaeology, not if, not if, not if the, um, not if, um, and by the way, too, I'm gonna pull up his work. So everybody could see, I'm, I'm gonna pull up his work right now. So everybody could see his work and what he said. I don't care what this dude says. I'm gonna show you what he says, but go ahead. Continue. Okay. So, according to Manfred B. Tech, there were two separate types of Asiatics that came into Avaris. Yes or no? Two types of Asiatics that come into... Where did he say that at? Give me a source on that. He says it in his article, Avaris, the capital of the Hicks. Okay, do you have a source on that that you could put on the screen? I just showed you. Hold on, I'll pull up all my sources. No, I'm not, I'm not taking no word from you. Your words, your days of words is done. Right. Let's go. Because I got his work right here in front of me. What work do you have? So I so I'm clear on what you have. No, no, no. Don't worry about that. You bring out your work. No, I bring out no, my no. work. So I got to bring up sources, but you don't. I, I got the source right here on the screen. It's about to be on the screen right now. All right, let's do it. You know what I mean? I actually did. This what well, I'm trying to figure out what work, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh man, you should be careful. You should be careful. So back to what I was asking, because I, I want you on record of saying I want you on record of saying no first. No. What? So are you saying that there was no there was there were not two different types of Asiatics that came into Avaris? Yes or no? There are several Asiatics that came in. OK, Avaris. but but does Manfred B. Tech in his work make clear distinctions about two different type of Asiatics that come into Avaris. Are you talking about the Hiskos people and you're talking about the people that were also there? I'm talking, yeah. yeah. So we clearly see so Asiatics that, that hold, on. People, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold Let on. me be clear. Let me be clear. Hold on. I don't want to interrupt. You know what? Talk. Go ahead and talk. 
Talk. We clearly see two different type of Asiatics, according to Manfred B. Tech, that come in. We see a nomadic person from the Sinai Peninsula, and then we see the serial, what we call Palestinian or serial Palestinian that comes in. It has a completely different get down, and they actually colonize those nomadic uh, Asiatics that were in there. Do you agree with All that, right. or yes or no? All right. Now, let me ask a That's question. That's a simple question, yes or no? No, I don't agree with that. Yeah, gotcha. Now, this is what I want to ask you. Are you saying, I'm not agreeing with nothing until you pull a source up. I'm not agreeing with nothing. Nothing you say I agree with. I agree with nothing because your motive is to prove you're an Israelite. You're already biased. You want to believe that bullshit? That's on you. But you're going to have to show and prove how those people became the 12 tribes of Israel are actually went into Egypt and conquered them according to the biblical text. We're going to read it. First off, the the oh, never says that they conquered Egypt. Oh, so you interrupted, interrupted me now. Yes, of course, because you're lying. So the, you biblical narrative, the biblical narrative never says that they conquered Egypt. Show me that in the Bible. Okay. All right. What is the Bible? No, we show we me are, in the we Bible. Are, we already did show this me, already. You already got smashed. In show me in the Bible this where it's I'm going to ask you. All you got to do is show me the source of Manfred B. Tech saying that. I'm Let's show me that. I'm pulling it. You got to show me that source. Pulling it all up for you. Oh, hallelujah! <laughs> we got it. You gotta love when the Most High comes through for you. All right, let me get him ready for you. I'm gonna make sure we on this page. All right, uh, let me get back on here. Oh yeah, is this where we at? Is this where I got the stream going at? All right. Not a problem. Yara, what's up? Hey, what's good, Garfield? Peace to you, brother. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> hey, Garfield, look, bro. Like, look, uh, you, you're absolutely right to have these conversations. We don't need to disrespect each other on, on either end. Um, and we do have to get to scholastic conversations. And so that's our only uh that's my only my only um uh, uh thing for even coming on your panel um not to disrespect each other we got to stop doing that just as black men period um point won't allow me to share my screen family yeah you gotta allow him to share screens you, you, come on come on girl who said i'm not allowed it says your screen. browser has like it's it's a it's not a it's blocked my screen share yeah oh, oh, no 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 stop stop who's blocking your screen share it, it got you gotta give him permission that's no, this is this is StreamYard. You share your screen and I press the button. All right, I'm gonna go out and come right back in. Then I'm gonna try. Maybe it's StreamYard acting up. I'm gonna go out and come right back in. And nobody, for the record, nobody is avoiding anybody. Stop that bullshit. Garfield talk to anybody anytime. Yeah. There's nothing anybody who claims to be um one of these retroactive identity claimants. No. Right. See, they go to disrespect, though, Garfield. That's not disrespect. That's yes, it is. If I, call, if I call, if I say, because you showed your DNA the other day, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it says you're more so closely related to the Ashkenazi Jews. It says that, what? That's what it says, doesn't it? It never said that, bro. Stop. Aren't you, on, aren't you more closely related than the Ashkenazi bro, bro, Jews? What, most West African? Bro, can you stop it, please? I'm asking you, does your can DNA you say that? Bro, yes no? bro, I got 3.9%. Is that, that a higher low percentage? All the DNA. Is that a higher low percentage? Are you related to the Ashkenazi Jews? Yes, I am. So okay. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, most people won't say, "Well, you close more closely related than the Ashkenazi Jews." What I'm saying is, but the Ashkenazi say, Jews is more let related let to the Middle point, though. Let me but the Ashkenazi point, Jews is more related to ancient Israelites than you. No, but so you say ancient Israelites, but we're telling you those are not Israelites. You don't. You what determines an Israelite? We're telling you those are not what Israelites Yara, according to what, their history Yara, and Yara, DNA. What, hold on. Yara, according to their history Yara, and DNA, Yara, Yara, they're not Israelites. Yara, what determines an Israelite? I'm telling you, according to Yara, your DNA. What de Yara, what determines an Israelite? Lineage and faith. Lineage and faith. All yes. right. How are you? Can you, be, you, can be an Israelite. you can be right. an Israelite by lineage so or you, you can be you by faith. Back your roots 3,000 years, right? That's it. Pardon me? You could trace back your roots 3,000 years, right? I haven't traced mine. 
So you saying that you are bloodline Israelite? I just want you to say that on the record. I'm not saying I'm a bloodline Israelite. Oh, okay. no. All right, you're not you. saying that. Okay. No, my bad. I don't want to put no words in your mouth. My no, bad. I'm not saying that because okay. I haven't done my DNA as of okay. yet. But okay. here's the information you asked for on the bar. So let's not be. Right. Go ahead. Let's read it together. Go ahead, my brother. Unmute your mic. Y'all can hear me, correct? Yes, go ahead. All right. So, like I said, there's two different types of Asiatics that come in. First, we have the nomads from Canaan. Because remember, the brother said that this didn't exist. Now, now you're going to have to- Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I said that what didn't exist? You said that there were not two different types of Canaanites. Okay? I said I don't agree with it until got I see you, the information. So, you see, you see same, how you, you, see how same, you, you difference, same difference, bro. Okay, right, fine. Cool. Okay, right. I'm sorry. Let, let me phrase it correctly. He says he disagrees with it. So first, this is the B'nai Hassan mural. Okay, this mm -hmm. shows Asiatics coming in. Now, mm -hmm. this is this, now this is according to Manfred Bitek. This is mm -hmm. Avaris, the capital mm -hmm. of the Hyksos. Recent excavations at Tel El Daba. All right. Mm -hmm. So, like he says, tomb tomb scenes from B'nai Hassan indicate that the early 12th dynasty people from Canaan, most likely nomads who had entered Egypt via the Nile Delta. We're being similarly employed. Now, if you, if you go and read this, and I have the source on there, right? This is on page 14 of that same. Scroll it, uh, scroll it down. Let me see what you're saying. Because I can't read anything. All I see is two types of Asiatics. But what are you saying? You don't see what I'm sharing? I'm sharing my screen right now. So scroll down. All we see is a topic, two types of Asiatics. Okay, so it didn't do the one point. Okay. Do you see this now? Mm-hmm. And what about now? Does it does it does it share the complete screen now? Okay. So hold on a second. You this saying two scenes that Benny Hassan indicate gotcha. that by the early 12th dynasty, the people from Canaan, most likely nomads who had entered Egypt via the Nile Delta, were being similarly employed. Okay. Now, so, what do you mean? What is the purpose of that? So the these people that came in during the 12th dynasty, mm -hmm. these were people from Canaan who were mm -hmm. nomads. Mm -hmm. Now, what time what time period did the Hyksos come in? Hold on, hold on one second. No, what time period did the Hyksos come in? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on one second. Hold on one Hyksos second. Hyksos come in around 1650 to 50. Okay. All right, something. Benny Hassan. When did Benny Hassan come in? When did the people come in on Benny Hassan? Are you saying that the Semites, those are the only Asian? I'm I'm trying to understand. No, no. I'm okay. I've I've been very clear what I've said. Mm -hmm. I'm saying I'm saying that when you deal with the Asiatics that come in, mm -hmm. the first ones that come in are nomads. The they first, are these are the first Asiatics that come in. Yes, they are nomads and they are pastoralists. This becomes okay. very important. This okay. becomes very important because when the Hyksos come in, they're what we would call Syro Palestinian. Okay? okay, they come in. They come in with a completely civilized culture. They come in completely different from these nomads, and that's how the Hyksos end up taking over. They do what's called a creeping conquest. They do not come in and just take over in a virus. They come in and slowly build up, and they do what Manfred Bitek even says. Matter of fact, I'll show you. No, no, no. Don't, don't go into that yet. I want, to, I want to ask about these Asiatics that come into Egypt. Gotcha. Because this is very interesting now. Now we're having a conversation. Right. So you're saying that these Asiatics, let me be clear, these Asiatics went into Egypt. You know, this was like a first time they coming into Egypt, these Asiatics. Egypt never really experienced these Asiatics. I'm not saying this in. the first time because I don't okay. have all that information to say. Okay. I'm okay. not, I'm never, okay. uh, B'nai Hassan does not attest to the fact that these are the first time that they come in. But when we're talking about this time period, what mm -hmm. we're saying is, is when these people come in as attested to the B'nai Hassan mural, as well as attested to the way that they live in the area of Avaris, they are definitely nomads. And we know this because they do not come in with a civilized way of living as do when the Syro Palestinians come in. Now watch this. It says, while some of the Asiatics who settled in Tel El Daba may originally have been nomads, most seem to have come from the urban background. Certainly the custom of placing the cemeteries within the settlement is not nomadic. That is the first dagger. The fact oh, that oh, these... Oh, oh, not a dagger. I'm going to tell you because their burial practices were different. <laughs> You're laughing. Watch this. Their burial oh, practices man. were different. All they right, would bury. They would have their burial practices within the settlement. That is not nomadic, right? The way that these nomads would bury things, they would bury things away from themselves, and you know that, right? So now let's continue. 
Now watch this. He says, there is the question of why they came to Southern Palestine or why where they came from Southern Palestine in the first place. May we suppose some kind of colonization? If so, then we may link this movement with the settlement of the Canaanites at Tel el Adaba and view it as a part of some of the same process of colonization. This is what the Hyksos did. When they came in, they began to colonize Avaris. Now, now, let me help you so you can understand this. Let me see. Let, now we're going to test your knowledge because you're running your mouth. Now we're going to see where you're at. Now, mm. let me see if you know what this is. This is what we call a stratigraphy map. OK, mm -hmm. when you look at a stratigraphy map of a virus. There are several different sections. You have A2, B1, D2, D3, E1, E2, D2, D3. All of these sections right here. You see this right here where my where my mouse is moving. This is the position of the Hyksos period. Right. This is what we would call the, the 15th dynasty, right? This is the time period of the Hyksos. Okay. Now, when you see these settlements ex ex expanding, this is why I even tell the brother Chris, this is when you see the expansion of those nomadic Israelites. And I'm going no, 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 no. to prove it to you. Hold on. I'm going to prove it to you by b -Tech's work. Relax. Okay. You told go me ahead. to prove go it. Go ahead. I'm going to prove it. Relax. Go I know where you're going. I'm not just go making ahead. statements. I'm going to prove it. All right. We see the expansion of of this settlement that becomes important because like i said they colonized the nomadic asiatic that came in now watch like i said these people are what we call serial they're urbanized now watch this let's get this i don't know why y'all playing with me bro mm -hmm. Mm. Got you. Now let's now let's now let's really get it. So the urban de development of Avaris shortly before and during the Hyksos period. Now this is on page forty nine. For whatever reason, this brother's joint is not allowing me to to really zoom in the way I want to. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do it like this. Hopefully you can see it. But I'm giving you the source so you can go actually see this. Is page forty nine. Now I'm starting right here in strata F, E three and E two, which were the areas that I showed you. The originally egalitarian settlement pattern becomes socially differentiated. Egalitarian means nomadic. In the program of houses, different types begin to occur for the wealthier people, which were wealthier people, which were the serial Palestinians, right? The more sophisticated floor plan discussed above with the vestibule, a living room placed between a bedroom and a side room, and sometimes with storage rooms become popular. The dependents of these upper class inhabitants cluster around the inhabitants. Who are these dependents? These are the, the nomads that were there. Watch this, and he's going to explain it. The dependents of these upper class inhabitants clustered around the houses of their overlords in much humbler buildings. In time, the better houses became more solid and larger, especially with regard to the capacity of their magazines. In terms of the quality of the houses, there is a difference between the central part of the town and the peripheral areas. In the course of the Hyksos period, from about 1600 BC onward, the peripheral areas were used more intensively for settlement. But while a living compound originally consisted of a house and an ample courtyard and silos, the compound was gradually filled completely, completely with the structures. There was no longer any space for open cemeteries within the settlement. Cemeteries around the temple area were covered by houses in the later Hyksos period and the mortuary temporary uh, temples were dismantled. Tombs were, ac were accommodated within the courtyards of houses or within the houses themselves. This custom can be observed at Tel Adaba already in area F1 from stratum FB3 onward, where tombs were found sunk within the houses. Especially prominent was the custom of constructing a chamber outside of the house against the wall of the bedroom. Now, watch, because you think I'm playing. And I show you again. You see where it says E1, E2. This is where that, this is where that expansion happens, right? This is where that expansion happens because those nomads were colonized and that has been my entire point now watch this i'm gonna show you because you think i'm bullying right it is the overwhelming evidence because i want to deal with this avaris and pyramuses argument as well it is the overwhelming evidence from our many excavations make sure you can see the whole thing 
that has finally changed the opinion, the general opinion of scholars today, Avaris and Pyramuses are identified with Tel El Daba and Contra respectively. So this is the point that we're making. When you see Pyramuses in the Bible, that is Avaris. And so what we see happening is, and I'm going to regurgitate it for you because you seem to have a problem with information, is that these Syro palestinians come in after the nomads and they colonize them. And we see them push them further out into the settlement. That's how you were able to tell the difference. Those same people are the people that we see that remain after the expulsion of the Hyksos. And they are the ones that I show you that are the nomads who end up becoming what we would consider to be the Shasu that end up going into um, Arabia. And like I told you, I can do that presentation for you, but I would much rather have a debate because it would be great for the people to see it. Not because I'm trying to be disrespectful. Mm. It is you who has chosen to go on your platform and call me stupid and all of these other things. And then you get mad because other people take shots at you. Now, right. go ahead. All right. All right. Are you Are done? done? I want you to all first right. address the fact. I want no, you to no, first no, address the fact. Hold on. Yeah, I I by the way, ask everybody, everybody to say he didn't know anything about it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, is this person on this line? Trying to tell me that Manfred Bitek supports that nomads are Israelites? Is this what he's trying to use, Manfred Bitek's information? Now watch this. Let me go to the actual book. The, 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 uh, the closest book, the Old Testament in Archaeology and History, which summarizes Manfred Bitek's work. I could go also, hold on, let me share my screen because I don't want to, I, I had the brother show sources. So I got to show sources too. All of that sounds good. It sounds good, brother. Yeah. It sounds real good. It sounds so good. Uh -huh. The issue here is, are those nomads Israelites? It's not if Semites were there. It's not if they use the bathroom different. It's none of that. You got to show and prove those Semites for one, because last time you was here, you said in Manfred B. Tax information, and if I don't want to paraphrase you, but I have to, you said, hold on, Amir. I did not say that. Don't hold on, lie. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, I did not brother. say that. Hold on. You said in Manfred B. Tech's information, you had the Semites merging with the Shasu and going towards. I did not say Egypt. that that was Manfred B. Tech's work. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, boy, you're going to have to show that today, though. Because if you don't, you know what they're going to say about you, right? All right. I ain't got to care less. It. Take but the debate. Finish. But let me. Hey, Take let me the finish. debate. Let me finish. Because I've already proven you wrong. You already proved me wrong with what? That there were two prove? different types. That there were two what different types of Asian. So what, what if there's two different types of, of um, um, hey, uh, uh, Hold on. Um, you said it didn't exist. The question needs to be asked this. Hold on, Chris. I'm dealing with Garfield. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm dealing with Garfield, Chris. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm dealing with Garfield. I'm dealing with Garfield. I said it never existed. You said the exodus never had happened, and you said that I'm I'm bringing up false sources about there being two different type of Asiatics. Did you say no, that? Yes I or no? I never said that. I said that. I lie. You're on record from you unless you show it to me. That's what I said. Don't misquote me. You're always lying. But watch this, though. I need you to show me watch where this. I lied. Watch this. Watch this, family. You see, now, mind you, this, this isn't is B Tech's oh, work. Oh man, show me B Tech's work, bro. It doesn't matter. It, it does. does. Known as a virus has been excavated extensively by Manfred Btech. What are you talking about? This is the book that's summarizing his work. What's the problem? No, what did Btech say? You said you what were going to show what Btech said. You know, summary. You know I got Btech right here. Oh, hold on, hold on, I do got Btech right here. But okay, the, great the, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, Yara, don't do that. Don't do that, bro. Like you just showed. Uh, now it's my time to talk. Everybody want to interrupt. You're right. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is crazy. You, we shouldn't be under. Go ahead. Go ahead, bro. Now, ladies and gentlemen, he showed BTEC's work saying that there's two different type of nomadic, two different type of people, Asiatic. You got Asiatics and you got the nomads. Both of them are quote unquote Asiatics, but one is different, right? Now watch this. If all of that is true, how does that make the Exodus true? How? Just because nomads were under the Hiscos? Come on, family. Let's let's quote that what Manfred B. Tech says. Let me find the exact quote of what Manfred B. Tech says with his work. Look at this. Hold on one second. Um, 
Hold on one second. Garfield, one you need second. to be asking him about the political situation in the second. Don't save him. Don't save him. Don't save mm -mm, him. Don't save mm -mm, him. Mm -mm. Don't save you see, him. he didn't. He didn't show anything. You know his He didn't show him. anything of relevance towards the Exodus. He didn't prove anything. All right. Now let me it's look at let me, let me because let me, it's let me bring up Manfred like B. Tuck's work directly so we could quote from Manfred B. Tuck. Because is this a Manfred B. Tuck debate or if the Exodus happened? That's kind of confusing. Well, let me bring up Manfred B. Tuck's work anyway because I got it right here in front of me. Let's go to the quantitative method of of his work right here. This is Manfred B. Tuck's work. This is from the um what do you call it. This is all his work right here on the historicity of the Exodus. What Egyptology can today can contribute to assessing the biblical account of the sojourn, all right? Now, this is Manfred Bittak's work showing all this stuff. I'm going to quote Manfred Bittak. Simple. If he's, if he's concerned about these nomadic stuff, are you saying, hold on, I got to ask you a question real quick. Are you saying Manfred Bittak is saying the nomads are Israelites? Or are no, you just saying that? I, I've never said that at all. No. So what it, I'm, I'm trying to figure out, though, what is the purpose of bringing up the nomads? Because these nomads uh -huh. have the same characteristics and the identity of the people who would have been the nomads in Avaris. Now, my my theory or my hypothesis or whatever Thank you, you. want to call it, mm -hmm. because that's what y'all like to say, right? Mm -hmm. Is that according to the biblical narrative, 480 years prior to the, the building of the Temple of Solomon is when the exodus would have happened. That puts them directly smack dab in 1450. And like I told you before, and I can show you the articles whenever it's my turn to go again, is that during that time period is when we see an abandonment of what we call Perunefer. And there is no reason to abandon Perunefer at the end of Thutmosis III's reign other than these people leave out. Hence why we see Thutmose, or, or I'm sorry, Amenhotep II come in and run all of these huge campaigns into the Levant to replace the exodus of those slaves. Um, anonymous, I'm gonna ask you this. I'm dealing with no, Garfield. No, 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 I'm no, dealing no, with no. Garfield, then I'll deal with you. I'm no, sure. you've already I'm been dealt to with. I know, I know, I know. I can only I'm ask you out. on the back. Go ahead. That's work. This is you gotta make work. yourself relevant. That's fine. I'm trying to, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, Chris. Don't say nothing. Is it me? I'm trying to figure out how does this what does this have to do with the exodus? How okay. do you prove the exodus by saying nomads were there? Are you talking about the four room houses, the two room houses? Are you I'm talking about that? Deal with you see, the bottom line is, well, what, ladies and gentlemen, what we're dealing with is the. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You ask hold me a hold question. Do you want me to answer or not? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And look, bro, I'm gonna be honest with you. Hold I'll on, just hold go on, on another hold channel hold and beat you up. I'm not gonna hold sit on. here and let you cut me off all night. I'll let you because you're gonna talk crazy about me regardless. Right? Hold on, hold on, hold on, one second. Yeah. So tell El Dabba where they found Canaanite pop, um, pottery, according to Manfred Bittak, right here. Evidence of the Syrian storm god Zaphon, the domestic and religious architecture, burial tradition, ceramics, and bronzes all show strong connections to the Levant. Although there was an increased Egyptianization of the pottery at time went on concerning the earliest Asiatic settlement, Bittak concludes donkey sacrifices in connection with tombs and bronzes from the tombs reveal however in combination with the house types that the inhabitants of this settlement were canaanites however highly egyptianized so if these people in this region were canaanites but they were highly egyptianized what is what is your point in using btex information I, I'm, because, I'm trying to okay. figure this out all let this answer, talking, let me let me, hold up let me finish you asked me a question. Talking, you want me to answer? Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. we're here to prove the exodus. I want to know how this exodus happened. Who are these people? What makes you think these people are these people? And where are you getting this from? So now when we ask him the question, he reads Manfred Bittak's work about two different type of Asiatics. I'm here puzzled because Manfred Bittak's conclusion is that these people were Canaanites and they were highly Egyptianized. So how is it that you now is taking Manfred Bittak's work to say that these people are Israelites when Manfred Bittak is saying that they're Canaanites? How is this possible? How is this making sense? Will you let Will you let me respond? No, no you spoke for like 20 minutes. Let me finish. Okay. Let, me, let me bring up some more information. All right, hold on. Let me, about, let me start writing down all your questions. All right. Man. 
Now, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, listen, 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 listen. We're going to read the conclusion of Manfred Vita. That was piece of it a while ago. Let me give you another piece of what he's saying. This is what he's drawing. He's drawing on the, the um the, the, the his skulls and all that stuff. He doesn't imply that none of these nomadic people are Israelites. You're taking Manfred Bittak's work with your own agenda. That's why at the end you said, oh, this is my hypothesis. Mm -hmm. That is your hypothesis, which mm -hmm. nobody agrees with but you. Oh, now that's a lie. Hold on. Give us some scholars that agree with, please. Hold on, my brother. Hold on. Ryan Woods. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Let's look at this. The look consensus. Hold on, hold on a second. The consensus of modern scholars is that the Bible does not so give now you're appealing to authority. Got hold you. on. I'm not appealing to authority. That's I'm going exactly to the what consensus. you're doing. Yeah, yeah, well, you know what? The authority is the ones that dig. So then say you're appealing to authority and keep going. Then say you're appealing to authority. Then say you're appealing to authority and continue. Please don't interrupt. Then say you're appealing to authority and continue. Bro, please don't interrupt. You interrupted me bro. and reframe my, my oh, statements man. the entire time. But I'm supposed to. This no, you're not supposed to reframe my statement. You just have nah, to present your nah, information. No, no, no. Hold on, bro. Relax. Relax, bro. I'm relax. extremely calm. I keep telling relax, you this. I don't, I don't know relax, where relax, you get relax. this. Relax. You're relax. the one yelling. You've been yelling relax, and cussing relax. me out since I got here. Relax. Now, ladies, you've been and yelling and cussing me out since ladies, I got here. Ladies, the lady, the ladies, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, another thing I want to bring up that's a part of scholarship that's not talked about is the historicity of the patriarchal narratives by T.L. Thompson, page mm -hmm. 123. Let me bring that yeah. book up real quickly Appealing and let's break this down. The reason why I'm bringing this up is because the people in Beni Hassan were people from the Sinai that did trade. Those people are not, like he implied, the Hiskos. He's trying to tell you that if you look at the Beni Hassan, the people were trading paint. But those people were already inside the Sinai back and forth for hundreds of years. They had nothing to do with the Levant or the Hiskos or the people who he trying to claim is nomads. These people were trading what's called Galena. They came from the Eastern Desert. Listen to this now from, from um, what's his name? Furthermore, it needs to be stressed that the painting is from the tomb of the high Egyptian official, Chen, Chen, Chemen Hotep, the administrator of the Eastern Desert in the town of Menachufu. The text relates that these people entered Egypt and presented themselves to the official in charge of the border at or near Beni Hassan. If they had come from Palestine, they would not have entered in the south, but by way of the eastern delta. The most obvious place to look for the homeland of these people is the very eastern desert, which Chemhotep administered in the mountains along the Red Sea where Galena is found. From the inscriptions in the tomb of Chemhotep's grandfather, Chemhotep I, tomb 14 at Beni Hassan, we learn that the Chemhotep I had also been administrator of the Eastern Desert. Other earlier texts which refer to people adequately confirm the contention that they are to be seen as occupants of the Eastern Desert. So him saying that these people come in from wherever, nah, you, 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 made, you made that up. You need to go check out T.L. Thompson, page 123, the historicity of the patriarchal narratives. Now, my last point I'm gonna make, and I'm gonna give him back, because ladies and gentlemen, remember, this discussion is about the Exodus. I didn't really come to talk about Beni Hassan. I'm not trying to imply anything. Because Semite, to, to, to point out to the brother, the reason why I asked him about the Semites, because Semites been coming in and out of Egypt for years. So you have Semites, um, you have Semites coming in. If you read the um the instruction of Merikari, you have the Asiatic nomad from Canaan and Syria coming in. Then you have the prophecy of Nefertiti. These are time periods way before. So even during King Den, in the writing with King Den, if you go to um, James Hoffmeyer's book, Israel in Egypt, he talks about it on page 54 of the Bedouin and the Asiatics coming in during the time of King Den. And that's King Den is like the second dynasty. The instruction of Merikari, the prophecy of Nefertiti, the tales of Sinihu, you find Asiatics all over. Are we saying these Asiatics are Israelites? These Semites are Israelites? Who is, who, is, who is claiming that these Semites are Israelites? Anybody that's trying to push the narrative that the Bible is true. But the truth, the dagger is, the Bible is written from a retroactive position because, of course, 
we're trying to gain some sort of retroactive identity by people writing later on. Because, of course, you can find no form of writing of this this particular Exodus story. There is a previous Exodus story in the Bible that's that has nothing to do with Moses. Moses is not even included in Psalms. But I do want to point out that the Exodus story that we have today in Exodus, you don't find that story before the Babylonian exile. This is another point. So if you're saying that the story is true, that's like me and you fighting right now on the internet. We fighting and I retroactively write about this story 10 years later and I retroactive that I came on here and you ran from me five times during the conversation. I embellish. So if you're saying the Exodus story of these Israelites going into Egypt um, is, is an issue, I'll draw my last piece of evidence. I'll draw my last piece of evidence to prove one last point about the, about the Exodus. One last point. One last point. I'm going to take two minutes. One last point I'm going to make. Let me take this off. Because if this Exodus is so important and we running around trying to preach this to black people and say, this is us, it has to be real within the actual text that we're reading. So let me bring up some information real quickly. Ladies and gentlemen, give me 10 seconds to pull this up. All right. A computer acting up. Hey, Garfield, respect. Yeah. Can I uh, add an opinion to what you're saying? No, you cannot. I'm dealing with Garfield, Garfield. then I deal with you. you. I'm talking to Garfield on his platform, on his show, respect. So he need, So Garfield need help. Garfield, may yeah. I add? I mean, can I add something respectfully? Go ahead, go ahead, my brother. Okay, I think the problem is there are a bit of appeals to authority on both sides. I disagree. Both, no, no, just um, let me add my, please. What I notice is Garfield is using sources and anonymous Hebrew, you're using sources. But both, you're trying to prove the Exodus archaeologically. Fine, I'm with you on that. But where you contradict yourself at with your presentation, with your evidence, is you say from the time of Solomon's temple. If you're going to use Solomon's temple, can you give me some objectifiable evidence that Solomon's temple existed? And what chronological time frame are you using to, turn, to determine that these Israelites were there in Egypt in the second millennium BCE? So can we get a time period, some objectifiable, objectifiable evidence on Solomon's temple? Because you're using archaeology. And in the history and study of archaeology, it's very object, objectable. All right. Let me, let, me just, let me just share my screen real quickly. Let me just do yeah. this real quickly here. This is the That's issue right. of our exodus that we have. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Where is this thing at? Where is it at? All right. Here we go. All right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this he is what I'm going to Garfield. Huh? He's not going to give you that evidence because that kills all that. All right. No, no, no. Let me, let, me, let me do this, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Let's do this. All right. This is in First Chronicles 7, 21, B to 23. Now, the people of Gath were born in the land, killed them because they came down to raid their cattle. And their father, Ephraim, mourned many days and his brothers came to comfort him. Ephraim went into his wife. And she conceived and bore a son, and he named him Berea, because disaster had befallen his house. Ephraim then went on to have another son, Berea, Berea so named because disaster had befallen his house. Da, 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 da. Just before getting back to the genealogical details, the short story concludes by telling us Berea had a daughter, Shira, and that she was credited with building lo both lower and upper Beth Haran. Now, and with that, we're back to the tedium of unrecognizable names with one exception. The genealogy ends in verse 27 with Joshua, the son of Nun of Canaanite conquest fame. Why is any of this interesting, ladies and gentlemen? It turns out that the sto short story contradicts everything we are told elsewhere about Israel in Egypt, the Exodus and Israel conquest of Canaan. The main narrative, Ephraim, the head of our genealogy, was born to Joseph and Asenath in Egypt. He had one brother, Manasseh. Many generations later, Joshua, the son of Nun, came out of Egypt on the Exodus and acted as Moses' right-hand man. In the intervening period, the Israelites were in Egypt. When the Israelites entered Canaan after the Exodus, Joshua, on his sojourn campaign, chased an Amorite coalition down the valley of Ajalon, passing by Beth Haran. Now, people might say, Garfi, what, what, what's going on here? 
the narrative in his biblical text he wants us to believe in is telling us that Ephraim is in Canaan while he's supposed to be in the Exodus. So if the Exodus is a true story for the Bible believers, why is it stupid ass Genesis 49? Why is it your Bible is telling us that Ephraim is in, is in Canaan when his ass was born in Egypt? He shouldn't even be I'll address that. So I'll now, address you right now. Yeah, relax. So Hold now on. You want to answer for that? Do you want to answer for that, you know, you know, you know, ask for that I'm Garfield? I'm talking to this dude right here. I'm yeah, talking but you just let Chris go. Hold on. I got to let y'all go. No, you just let Chris go. Yeah, I, I, Chris. Chris made. I'm a just asking you. Do you want to ask? Do you want to answer? I'm, no, 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 I'm, for the last I'm talking slides. to all of y'all. I'm talking to you too, Yara. Okay. So let all me address those last three slides you just on. you just I'm pulled up. You I got put those in the garbage. Hello. I got to finish the point first. I got to finish. You, you the finished point. it actually. Okay. Right. Just ask the question. Okay. I promise you. Don't let a few frame, but three days. Let read it. Why was she building cities in the Canaanite highlands? especially the Ephraimite highlands of Canaan, right? So now if you look at this map, ladies and gentlemen, you got Beth Aran <laughs> up here. They're supposed to be in Egypt going through the Exodus or going through whatever, but they're over here in Beth Aran building up. He's running down there to his brothers. Now look at look, look at this now. Yeah, he's, he's down there dealing with that. Now look at this. If he's going, you remember what the scripture says? He's going, going where? Which direction was he going in? Do you remember? And hey, can really you tell me the time period? The language of the time period? period to and from Egypt, and also pays attention to the top of topography of Canaan. Has Ezer and Eliad coming down to Gath? Can you tell how me the time period coming, it is? How are they coming down to Gath? Hold on, I'm right. gonna get to you in a second. I'm gonna get to you in a second, beloved. I'm gonna get to you in a second. Right, let him, let him, let him finish. Right. He like he liked the little now, piece of he put together. How finish. are they coming down to Gath? Remember, Ephraim, ladies and gentlemen, was born in Egypt to Joseph. Remember that. Watch this. So now look okay. at this. Look at this now. This is what Beth Aran is. This is where Ephraim is. You see Beth Aran right there and everything. You see, we got to ask question. Who it, was it who came to comfort Ephraim? Oh it God. said his brothers. I thought Ephraim only had one brother, Manasseh. Plural. This goes against scripture's main narrative that tells us quite emphatically that Ephraim had only one brother, Manasseh. The ramifications of all this are that First Chronicles 7, 20 to 27 give us a picture of the origins of the tribe of Ephraim that don't fit the usual story of Israelite origins. In fact, the two contradict. The Chronicles short story has Ephraim living in the Canaanite highlands and not Egypt, not going on any exodus, having no need to conquer the land they are already living in. All right? So now... Let me let me let me let me let me do one last oh thing. Oh, did you been doing Before this you go on, can we address what you Hold on, hold on, hold on. Bro, you took no. so long a while ago. I'm taking all the time to do what no, I No, no, let me address now what you, know you just said I'm about this whole thing hold even on, before on, you on, move on, to the subject. Let me just do one That's thing. not academic, bro. Can I do can I do one thing, please? You finna go to a completely different subject. No, I'm not going to a different subject. I'm Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Relax, man. I got this. Relax. No, you don't, actually. This is an easy cut. Relax. Now, look at this, family. Family. This goes back to what I presented on Sarnetta. Manasseh and Ephraim's sons and grandsons and five extra names going into Egypt. If you look at the extra names of their sons, you see Manasseh has Mashir and a grandson, Gilead, right? Ephraim has two sons, Sutalam and Tam, and a grandson, Edom. How is it possible? And I'm going to say this. The Masoretic text says whatever. The uh, other text says, the Elex says, and to Manasseh, da, 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 da. But let me just break this down real fast so we could go through it. The problem with Ephraim and Manasseh having descendants on the list, it is most likely that this process was not accidental, but intentional. Since in the context of Genesis 46, the five names pose a serious chronological problem. According to the internal chronology of the book of Genesis, at the time when Jacob and his son descended to Egypt, Manasseh and Ephraim were too young to have children and certainly grandchildren. If you look at it, Genesis suggests that Joseph marries Asenat immediately after his appointment by Pharaoh. At the same time the years of plenty began, Joseph's sons were born before the famine and Jacob's family arrived in Egypt after two years. So they were like two years old. I don't know if they were twins, Whoa. but ladies and gentlemen, 
Explain, explain that one more time. It. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be rude. I want to understand. Say that last part one more time, please. Explain that to me. Genesis suggests that Joseph marries Asenath immediately after his appointment by Pharaoh. Genesis 41, 45. At the same time, the years of plenty begin. Genesis 41, 32. Joseph's sons were born before the famine. And Jacob's family arrived in Egypt after two years of famine. So Joseph's sons are younger than nine years old at this time. They could not have had offspring at this age or grandchildren. So this is the problem now. You're going to have to explain how a two-year-old or a five-year-old has children and grandchildren and how um, Ephraim, uh, Ephraim ends up in um, running down into Gath because his children got killed while they should be going on over here in the Exodus. Okay, and what time period was it that Ephraim ran down into Gath? Um, Genesis, I mean, First Chronicles 7. Oh, man, let me, you want me to bring up the scripture? Or what do you want me to do? I need to know what time period in, in, in history are you saying that that happened, though? It happened around the same time period. How, what, what, I need to know what source you're saying. I need to know what time the period. The Bible is a source. No, oh, but the Bible, but the Bible does not say that that situation that happened in Chronicles right. happened at the same time that yeah, exactly. Ephraim was a child. Okay. So I'm trying now, to understand. Now, now, so I need, now. hold on. Look, hold I'm not, on, bro. When, I'm not. When was, when was Ephraim born, bro? I'm trying. I'm trying to. I'm trying to build with go you. Ahead, go ahead, build on it, brother. Go right. Ahead, I just, go I just want to understand what you're saying. I need go to know. I need to know where in the Bible is it explaining the time period of this? Because you're saying the Bible is the source, and then you're going back and forth. I'm going to show you now when I get into my presentation how we date these sources, right? Because the brother Chris actually he asked a good question. So I want I want to know specifically how you are saying that Ephraim would have been two years old at the time of Chronicles. I need to understand. No, 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 no. He was two years old when they had their twins, that when they had the baby and the grandchildren. He was right, but you're saying that's old. the same time of Chronicles. So I'm trying to understand. The same time of Chronicles. Um, hold on. There. The sons of Ephraim. The process is all the more evident with respect to the tradition surrounding Ephraim. First Chronicles seven twenty. The sons of Ephraim, Shasu and Bered, whom the men of Gath who were born in the land slew because they came down to raid their cattle. And Ephraim, their right. father, mourned many days, and his brothers came to comfort him. And Ephraim went into his wife, and she conceived and bore a son, and he called his name Beriah. Now, what this tradition is? This is a tradition that doesn't include an Exodus. This is a tradition that leads up to King David. Okay. According to what? Chronicles. Oh, according right. to Chronicles. Oh, no, chronicles. Bro, chronicles. Chronicles is simply a retelling okay. of a, a particular event that had chronicles. already occurred. Way, it's not talking. To, bro, it's not bro, coalescing. Right. It's not putting those two events, Chronicles and Genesis 48, in the same time no, no, period. No, not the same time period. But, but, it's but really, when, when bro, did you bro, get a chance to go to... Go to, go to let go me to help you, brother. Let me help you. It's Ooh. written, first of all, it's, written, it's being written anachronistically, right? So the writers of Chronicles... Retroactively, you, brother? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, no, not, not anachronistically. Retroactively. You no, not retroactively, word. bro. Listen, no, I'm not. I know exactly bro. what I'm saying. Okay, if we say retroactive, that still fits. Let's watch this, right? Because at the time that Chronicles are being written, Israel is being referred to, and we see this in scriptures, very provable. Israel is also being referred to as Ephraim. That's, that's where your confusion comes in at. Now, we can take it a little step further. It's not saying that those two events happen parallel or happen at the exact same time. That's what you're reading. You don't like the term anachronistically? You want to use retroactively? It's written after Genesis. Right, brother, brother. Is, is and that, no, hold on. Is, is there, we can hold take on, hold on. The, the sons of on. Ephraim. Hold on. I want to be clear. I want to be clear. You're saying that when it says the sons of Ephraim, Shathai and Bered, the sons of Ephraim means sons of Israel? That We can what? show you throughout the scripture. No, no, no. You just said the Ephraim is Israel. I just want to be clear. Is that what you're saying? I'm telling you it's being written afterwards. It's not bro, saying it's everything in the Bible is written afterwards, bro. bro. Everything in the Bible is written afterwards. That's what, what you're talking about. How are you reading it in the scripture? So, how are you saying that right. both of these that chronicles and Genesis were written at the same time? I never said it was written at the same time. So then why are you saying that it's a contradiction? I'm saying to you, how could how could Ephraim be in Egypt and have children? And build Beth Haran and cities, his grand his children and his daughter's children, if they were in Egypt, bro. That it doesn't make sense. 
His children should be in Egypt and his grandchildren, not in Canaan. It, you can't have the two stories, beloved. I know you when can't you say, say Egypt, hold on. Hold on. Yara, hold I know on, you hold on. can't say the Bible is bro, wrong. I get bro, what you're saying, bro. Sense. No, it does it make, make sense, sense because your hang up. For you. Okay, fine. I see what you're saying. <laughs> your hang up again. No, that you're laughing, but your hang up again <laughs> is, the, is 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 the conflation between is, Egypt and Canaan, killing, right? Killing time. Let me pull no, out. No, it's not killing time. time. We're talking about time. Egypt and Canaan, right? So when you talk yeah, about Egypt, my point Canaan, is, if we're saying that e uh, the Exodus happened, I'm saying in your own Bible, it's saying that Ephraim was even a part of the Exodus. That's what it's saying. And I could prove Manasseh, Judah, and all of them have alternative stories. It's in your Bible. I could use your Bible and kill that, that stupid Exodus story right now. It's crazy. I'm telling you, Ephraim had children. You're going to say to me now, it's Ephraim could mean Israel. But Israel had two children that got killed by the men of God. What are you talking about? You we're can't see you because again. you're a believer. No, we're asking you again. Show us the time periods. The time period. The time period is Ephraim. If you look at the time period, Ephraim is supposed to be in where at this time. You know what your brother Gideon said? Gideon said it's not even the same Ephraim. Bro, I'm asking you, Ephraim, you. But Ephraim, hey, what's the, what's the, what's the verse again? Hey, what's the chapter? The chronology. Hey, this tell me the, the chapter. Chronology I just of know. who was born because Joshua is nah. in the chronology. He's talking about Genesis 48 and 22. He's talking let's about go, Genesis. Let's go to Genesis, Genesis 48. Oh, no, no, wait, wait. Come out, come out. Wait, stop. Before we go any further, I want y'all to continue this part, but I want to know what specific verse was you talking about? Ephraim built something. You said First Chronicles, what? First Chronicles 7:20. Um, his daughter Shira. He had a daughter after Beria. Is he had a son right, called continue. Beria, and his daughter was Sharia, who built both lower and upper Beth Haran and other than Shira. Wait, so his daughter built it, not even granddaughter. His granddaughter. <laughs> you stupid as hell. All right, y'all keep going. I just said that to him, bro. <laughs> it happened at two different time periods. He's not understanding. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. The, time period, the time period is not the issue. It the is issue. the issue. It is the issue. Bro, bro, is Ephraim a part of the Exodus story? Bro. No, no, no. Talking no. You can't run from that. You cannot bro. run from that. Is Ephraim Nobody's running, part bro. Oh, man. Is Ephraim a part of the You're not listening, bro. Yes or no? You're not listening. No. You're not listening. Ephraim is a part of the Exodus tradition. Yes or no? Listen, let me explain Ephraim, to you. Is let me Ephraim explain. a part of okay. the Ephraim Exodus tradition? Ephraim is not. Tradition. Ephraim is not. Yes, no, he's not. No. no, he's not. But let me explain no, to you is not. why you're wrong. Why is his children in Canaan because when the Exodus is going on? Listen, man, because my stop, stop, listen, bro, stop. I got listen. this. All right, I'm tired of this. I'm, I got this. Hey, do me a favor, bro. Like, I've been trying to because I can't bring up my actual um, I can't bring up my actual digital book of, of David and Solomon. I got the digital okay, book, but I can't okay. bring it up. Uh just email me those joints real quick. You know what I'm talking about? David and Solomon. Yeah, just email me those three joints so I can because I want to address Chris's point. But I'm I'm gonna deal with this real quick, okay? So he brought up First Chronicles seven twenty seven. Now I want to point out to the family he talked for about fifteen to twenty minutes and asked several questions. I'm gonna do my best to answer them all. If I don't hit them all, please forgive me because he kind of was all over the place. I'm not trying to knock right. you, brother, but you you jumped around a lot. So if I miss them, if I miss something, either bring it to my remembrance. If I can answer it, I can. If I say I don't know, I, it just be I don't know. This is why I want to have a debate, though. Okay. So number one, scholars like Israel Finkelstein right, who is a biblical minimalist, will admit that it is he's improper. Not he's not a minimalist. You say what? He's not a minimalist. That's not true. Most, since we're talking about... He's a centrist. Since we talk about scholars, most scholars would disagree, but that's fine. Okay, you call him a centrist. He's definitely not a maximalist, right? So anyway, um, dealing with even uh, Israel Finkelstein will stay as it pertains to dealing with the exodus. It is improper to deal with the exodus, the wilderness wanderings, and the Canaanite conquest together. If you try to clump them in together, you are outside of the scope <laughs> of history, right? Because there is a 40-year difference before they even begin the conquest of Canaan. Uh, 
Not to mention then when they get into the land and begin to start to build up different areas. So that's the biblical narrative. So whenever it's saying, so let's go to First Chronicles 7 and 20, and the sons of Ephraim. Now, these are children that live after Ephraim. Please right. understand that. I need you to have enough common sense to do that. The sons of Ephraim, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This, is, this is First Chronicles 7, 20. Shetela, um, Bored, his son, Tahath, his son, and mm -hmm. Eladah, his son, and mm -hmm. Tahath, his son, right? And mm -hmm. so I'll just get down to 23 because we clearly see. No, 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 no. Read okay, it. Read I'll start, it read I'll start, it I'll start at 22. I'll start at 22 because that's what you, okay. You want me to read 21 as well? Yeah, read And Zabad, his son, mm -hmm. and Shetelah, his son, mm -hmm. and Izar, and Eliad, whom the men of Gath that were born in that land slew. Now, I ain't even gonna beat you up on that because they came down to take away their cattle and Ephraim, their father mourned many days and his brethren came to comfort him. And when they went in to his wife, she conceived and bare a son and she called his name Bari because it went evil with his house. Now, do, are you familiar with what parentheses mean in the Bible? Continue reading. No, answer that question. As are you familiar? As far as what? Are you so if 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 I'm reading the Bible and I'm a biblical scholar and I see something in parentheses, what does that mean in the King James Version? I don't know. I don't it know means that this was added. This this does not mean that this is in their scrolls. <laughs> hold, on, hold, like on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. I'm I'm gonna deal with it. Relax, bro. <laughs> relax, relax. I'm definitely gonna deal with it now. And his oh. daughter Shera, who built. Beth Theron, go ahead, Ben. Listen, Beth Theron built the neither Beth and the upper. Listen, bro, do you, okay, go ahead and finish talking because I let you talk for 20 minutes. So I didn't stop you. Go ahead and get it out because I don't want to be interrupted. No, no, go ahead. I'm listening. Appreciate you. I'm listening. And when go he ahead, went into his wife, she conceived and bare a son, and he called his name Bariah because it went evil with the house. And his daughter was Shara, who built Beth Theron, the neither. And the upper and Uzan Uzan Shara. When was this city built? When was what city built? You said that your dagger was the fact that she built Beth Theron. When was Beth Theron built? Now, ladies and gentlemen, if <laughs> we're talking about the Exodus, right? Watch, 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 if Ephraim oh, is supposed a question, to be in hold on, hold on, my brother. If Ephraim is supposed to be in Egypt, how is he coming down to mourn? This is two, no, 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 no. No, you asked me a question. Let me respond. The, the, the debate is about the Exodus. I'm trying to show that there's a there's a contradicting story within the same Bible that these crazy people believe in. It's not a how contradiction. You, oh, let me finish. How can Beth Shira build? Even if whenever she built um, Beth Haran or Uden Shira, her descendant is Joshua, the same Joshua that came out of, uh, supposedly came out of um, uh, and destroyed Canaan. These people are related. Ephraim is supposed to be the eponymous ancestor or the real ancestor that they come from. So how is he in the land of Israel, the land with Gath, mourning his two children dying? How is he doing that? And how is his daughter building up places in Canaan where, where Ephraim land spaces that he was given? How is she there and not in the Exodus? Because guess what, ladies and gentlemen? All you got to do is look at the genealogy. The genealogy is killing him. He's saying, oh, you know what parenthesis means? It means it was added. Okay, which part was added? Okay, can, can I just, can I, can because I remember finish? He now, said, look what he said at the beginning. He I, said, I find it now. Look, I can do this here. I can do this on channel, bro. I promise you. I can do this here. I can do it on another okay, channel. Hey, Garfield. Answer the issue question, is, Garfield. Is, All you got to do is answer on, my guys, question. Guys, bro. come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on. Come All you got to do is answer my guys, question. Bro. Guys, guys. Look All you got to do is when was Beth the Rome built? It was built whenever it was built, bro. <laughs> whenever it was built. How is it? How is it? How is it? How is she building best around his granddaughter? If he supposed My to dagger is bigger than your dagger. Oh, man. Ladies and gentlemen, Ephraim had a twin brother that was named Ephraim. That's how I was going to prove anything. When was it built? And all that. What was that got to do with anything? 
Okay, what? so I'm gonna, uh, let me explain. This is what that has to do with anything. Thank you. You're dealing with biblical genealogy. These things are years after. So when you deal with Bethlehem being built, that's why we see that in Joshua, I want to say 16.5 or 16.9, right? This is further into the Canaanite conquest. This is what I was explaining earlier. They are not, that's why that thing is in parentheses because it's explaining to you that this is later on down in the line. This is not saying, no, 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 no. bro, you please mean, allow me. All you got to do is allow me. Bro, all you, have to do, all you have to do is Hold allow on a me second. to finish. What is in parenthesis? All you have to do is allow me to finish, and then I'll no, answer. No, no, no. What, what is in parenthesis, brother? The parenthesis says that, uh, let me bring it back up for you. And, Say, his listen, daughter, quick note. and his daughter, and his daughter, Shara, who built Beth Aron, the neither was the upper, and Uzin Shara, right? So if you understand this, you know what? Matter of fact, let me go ahead and bring these verses up for you, right? Because you, you think it's a game. Like I'm I'm I've been trying not to mess up your channel and mess up your money. But you want to keep calling people stupid and bringing out dumb stuff. All right. So this is Joshua 10. Now this is way after the Exodus. All right. And the Lord discomfited them before Israel and slew them and was a great slaughter in Gibeon and chased them along the way that goeth up to Beth Aron. And smote them in Azica and unto Magdea. And you can keep going, right? Right? Uh Joshua 16, Joshua 16, 5, Joshua 18. Right. Oh, so he never I thought Joshua no, never destroyed Canaan. When you when did I say <laughs> Joshua never destroyed Canaan? Where Chris at? You said it. Hey, cut it out, Garfield. All right, cut look, out, I, look, hold on, bro. Hey, cut look, it out, Garfield. Hey, stop. Hey, every time oh, I come, this is the second time I've been on here, and you keep doing the same thing. So I need you to relax. All right. I just showed you that when we deal with Beth Aron, this is during the time of Joshua family. So Beth Aron like, never existed before bro, that. Bro, please. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where does it say Beth Aron was built? This is how stupid these guys think we are. Where does it say Beth Aron was built? We asked you that. I asked no, you that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because how you going to ask us hold the same question we asked you uh, as if that's you know, your you know, academic you know, Yara, question? Yara, 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 Yara. Yara. Bro, yeah, all you no, got to do is tell me when the city was I got built. a question for you and the brother. All you have to do I'm is asking tell a simple me when the city question. Was when was Betharon built? I just asked you that. No, no, no. Because obviously, it I just asked it's, you that. You said it's wrong because it's I in just, parentheses, I just right? I just asked you that. I just asked you that. All right. Now, I'm asking you now. <laughs> when was it built? Wow. So, so you're saying you don't know, right? The, I don't, he I don't said know it was built when it was built, bro. He I'm said it was built when it was right. built. So, so this is what I'm telling you. So this is what I'm telling you. When, when, when was it built? Listen, listen it according according to the Bible, we okay. don't see mm -hmm. this thing. We don't see it mentioned until we get into the time frame of Joshua, right? Okay. We don't see this. Allow me to finish. Have some. Please, do, bro. Please finish. Please, please go ahead. Just give, just give me some. Go ahead, bro. Please go ahead. Go ahead. Right. So we don't see this city mentioned until we get into Joshua and then we see it mentioned again when we get into Chronicles. Right. Mm -hmm. So that means that we don't see this city built unless you can show me a previous time in the biblical timeline before that, that Beth Aron is built. And you have to prove then that it is not what we would call written about anachronistically. Right. I'm asking mm -hmm. you, this is why I asked the brother clearly, when was the city built? Right oh, now, okay. I would love now time out before I keep I would love to get into the rest of my information, because every time I come on here, there is a gish gallop technique that attempts to keep me from bringing out any information. Yeah. Uh, let me talk, bro. Please. Come on, bro. So I, I'm trying to figure I, I, I just, out. I'm trying to figure just, out. We, we just trying bro. to figure out what, we, what you're talking bro. about. Now, now, bro. Can you please no, you're not. You're not even letting me. Hold on. You everybody aren't even letting everybody me. Everybody stop for a second. You ain't even letting me. No, no. Hold on a second. So now they asked Garfield when Beth Aron was built. I said, whenever it was built. The brother brought out Joshua. Joshua mentioning Beth Aron. Then he says, that's the earliest they ever heard it mentioned. So right. all the people who are laughing when I said, I don't know, he don't know either. So what the hell is going on here? That's what I'm trying to get out what of him. You keep right? talking about you keep getting cut off. Now, Again, I'm getting e cut off. Look, had notice I'm still not being able after, to. Hold on. Ephraim had children in Canaan after, while he was supposed to be over there in Egypt. So he's at wait, both places at the same time. And also, hold on, 
Ephraim has children and grandchildren when he was less than probably five years old. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when somebody's making up a story or writing retroactively, this is when a lot of BS comes out. So, ladies and gentlemen, the Exodus, this same Exodus that they said happened, according to Ephraim in Chronicles and his genealogy, it seems like there was no Exodus at all. And I could show all 12 tribes in this sense. There's a double stories for almost everything in the Bible. There is a story that the Exodus happened, and there's a story that says the Exodus didn't happen for the same tribe. This is throughout the text, but these guys don't read the text. They read okay. the text to try to make you believers like they know everything, but all they right. don't know nothing. So but anyway, carry no, no, on. No, no, bring no, out no, right, so let me address this then. Bring out your Exodus. Now I'm gonna now I'm gonna end all of this dumb stuff. Okay. So remember the first son that was mentioned about uh, from Ephraim. What was his name? Because you just said it, it was Shuttela, correct? Shuttela. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, this is Numbers 26, 35. Mm -hmm. More than 40 or 50 years after the Exodus. These <laughs> are the sons of Ephraim and their families. I need you to understand how the biblical narrative runs, family. You seem to not understand that this is why you need only, to stop talking you, about the Bible. Under, yeah. Please right? allow me to hey, talk. Be quiet, Garfield. All you got to do only is you, sit Only back. you understand the Bible, right? Quiet, no, that hey, is, Garfield. Hold on, stop. Watch, this. Watch this. Man, I got this too. Watch this too. That is that is not what I that is not what I said at all. Go ahead, brother. That is not what I said at all. I said you don't understand the Bible. Now, back to the point that I'm making. Now, we are in Numbers 26. So you can understand even in Numbers 26, 34, it says these are the families of Manasseh and those that were numbered of them. Now, if you read Numbers 26, it's talking about the numbering of the children of Israel, right? So the only way that these people can be numbered is that they were numbered after they started leaving after the 40 years in the wilderness, after you see them outside of the exodus right or this is during what we would say even in the 40 years and this is how they're numbering people right this is the explanation that when we deal with now numbers 30 numbers 26 35 these are the sons of ephraim after their families of shatila the family of the shutilahites of behar the family of the becherites of tehran and the family of the Tehanites. Now I can keep going, but what this shows is that these people are mentioned after the Exodus because the Exodus once again happened in the book of Exodus. Now, back to my point because that should be over, right? This is this is silly. That is the yeah, worst no, it can't be over, bro. Uh, okay, it can't... Hey, look, hey, look, fine. Hey, Y'all hold on, Y'all hold on to that. Please allow me to Wait. get. That. Can, can I, can I, can I, I just can ask I one question, bro? Oh my God! You say forty. You said forty years after. Are you saying the book of Numbers is forty years after? Or are I'm you saying, saying? I'm saying. I'm saying when we get to these people, this is after the wilderness want. This is either during or after the time of the wilderness wanderings, right? Mm -hmm. So this is. So this is clearly after. So, oh, so you're taking the story listen, as Listen, bro. Actually, listen, as, hold on, listen. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So you're taking. Well, what the were you going to say? What were you going to say? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So you're taking the story literally that it's true then. I'm, I'm actually on here defending the Exodus Come as on, if it man. literally happened, right? Oh, okay. All right. No right, right, no, I right. Want to that clear. right. I want to make that clear. That's fine. So I want to point out to the point that his whole goal is to get Gallup and try to get me off my square. At least the brother who's talking to me once again is going to have to admit that he's got some form of integrity and say that was a non sequitur. Now, watch this. So we know that Ephraim is dead at this time already. Let's go to Exodus chapter one. All right. I mean, this is right. this is silly, bro. Just, just right. go ahead, bro. Go ahead. You're doing good. Go ahead. Right. Uh, I'm gonna give it to you. I want to. I want to show you them dying now. Uh, Exodus one. Now, Exodus one and six. And Joseph died, and all his brethren, and all that generation, brother. That is the death of Ephraim, and all that generation. So when we see the children or the offspring of Ephraim in Numbers and Joshua in First Chronicles, you have to understand that this is after they are dead. We are dealing with their children, with their offspring. So anything that you are taking and trying to conflate at that time, that is poor biblical hermeneutics.
That isn't even something that we would do in a okay. regular history book. All right, let me respond to that. All no, right. bro, let me, let me finish. Respond the rest to that. No, 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 I got to respond to that. Oh my. We, 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 we are on time now. We got like 20 minutes left. Now, let me say this carefully to the family. Ladies and gentlemen, if Ephraim and the family died in Exodus, and by the way, the Exodus was not written before the Babylonian exile. So at the end of the day, <laughs> anyone could write the story and say what they want to say and add and do whatever, right? Now, in you laughing, but if you show me evidence that Exodus was written before, I will never teach on the Bible again. So if you really want to get real down and laugh, show and prove that, that the Exodus was written before the Babylonian exile. Second thing, let me say this. Watch this. In First Chronicles, he said that they died, right? How did Ephraim... I said they died in Exodus. You said in Exodus 1, 6 that they died, so you're dealing with the children. Ladies and gentlemen, you don't see what's going on here? You're talking about eponymous ancestors. Remember, Ephraim <laughs> is not a real person. The Bible is trying to say he's real because they're telling the story of an area, a geographic location. I just want to know when I'm going to Hold on a second. So if Ephraim is in Canaan dealing with the people that killed his kids and then he had children in Ouch. that area and you said that the other part is not in the Bible but he did have other children in that area of Canaan how can he have children in Canaan that's connected to Joshua in the genealogy because people don't understand this guy don't know his Bible Chronicles what is Chronicles Chronicles don't have a date Chronicles is the, is, the, is the priesthood carrying on the tradition for hundreds of years, writing. And how you know the Chronicles tradition is more real than the Exodus tradition? Because guess what? The Chronicles have genealogy, genealogical records. And if you check numbers, you don't have no numbers before that time period, before 700 BC. You don't have no um, Genesis before 700 BC. You don't have no Deuteronomy before 700 BC. You see, this is the problem. You have to look at, at the dating of the Bible. This guy don't know his Bible. He's trying to let us think that the stories in the Bible that people recorded and memorized this shit for a thousand years. That is nonsense. You have to think logically with the Bible. Person is writing retroactively. They're trying is, to is make that, is that not what we said from the beginning? Else. We are the chosen. So people. how is it a contradiction? Because no, that was stop, going stop, that's what a contradiction because they are growing that's, up in Canaan when they should have been in the in the during the passage in the Exodus. You can't be two places at one time. No. This is why you have Ephraim. Hold he on. Just showed Ephraim. You the difference Hold on. That they were. This is why you have Ephraim and Manasseh having children under five years old. You don't have grandchildren when you're five years old. It's craziness to believe this. Are you sick? And I noticed both of y'all <laughs> did not address that particular point because you, you know, you, you know, in your heart, you, you won't even let me. You won't even let me speak. Thing, hey, none of them, he, he, none of them he's trying to come from the biblical narrative. None of, I'm using the Bible to beat them niggas but up. You won't, but you won't I'm let me. Saying, the Bible. But, but he's 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 following the biblical narrative of the of the of the timeline and, and of the the lineage. That's what he's doing. Isn't what, that the, the evidence? Of course, that the destroys it. The evidence destroys it, just like you brought up. But that's not what he. That's not his focus. Okay, his focus okay, bet, okay, no, bet, bet, let's let's. All right, so let's get back into First Chronicles seven because you see, I don't know my Bible. All right, that, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't I don't worry about that stuff. I'm not sensitive like him. All right, so I want to point this out. When you get to Chronicles seven, you're now at Issachar, right? So now this is another son of Israel. Right. And now they're breaking down his lineage. I would submit to the family that this brother Garfield does not know his Bible and understanding that when they are submitting lineages, we can go through and show you several names that don't show up in certain parts of the lineage. Right. When it comes to the biblical lineage, especially in Chronicles, they are explaining the dominant or the, the more important figures at different points in time. So now watch this. And I'm, I'm going to give you proof of this now. Right. So this is first Chronicles. I'm going to start at seven two. Now, seven two is dealing with more sons of Issachar and the sons of Tola, Uzziah and Raphael and Jabril and Jemai and Jizbam and Shemuel, heads of their father's house to wit of Tola. They were valiant men of mighty in their generations whose number was in the days of David, two and 20,600. This is explaining to you that they are given a genealogy that even extends to the time of David. 
According to the biblical narrative, no one. I know it's funny. I know it hurts, but no one would ever. <laughs> hey, you hey, see what I mean? mean that, that, that's exactly that what's happening. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, can I please? Can I? May I in that genealogy is the Exodus. So, in that may, so may I please? May hold I please? on. Is the Exodus in that genealogy? Is the Exodus in that genealogy? I just want to finish one sentence, bro. I'm just trying to see what you're reading. You what you trying where to? Do, where do we? So, but acc- hold on. But according to you, though, mm-hmm. now look. According to because Issachar, mm-hmm. according to you, Issachar would have been a part of the Exodus, which I showed you that generation had already died. Ephraim was a part of that generation. He would have already died. So that's cut number one, right? How so is that a cut? How be, is that listen, a cut? bro. How I'm is trying that a cut? to. I am trying to educate <laughs> you. Know, bro. <laughs> he laughed. Oh, this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, for the, that thank you for the patience, Most High. Hey, listen. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you know, know, bro, I just, just want to be able you know, to. I just want. Hey, look. Honestly, you know what, either you know what, either, you know either what, kick me. You know, either hey, kick hey, me hey, or allow me to talk. Let him finish, bro. Come on, Arthur. Because you're looking bad, bro. You know like, bro, that, that like is, bro. This, hey, look, and this is the point that everybody keeps bringing up. You keep saying you want to have scholastic conversations. Oh, man, you ain't not here. Yeah, to come on, bro. Can right. you finish, please? Listen, we're having a good conversation. I'm a channel about scholastic because what I'm you're here. doing, all I'm, you're what I'm doing is the fact that hey, what bro, I'm bro, doing, bro, 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 grandchildren, you cannot be this undisciplined. You can't be this afraid of me. You cannot be this afraid. And you then allow me to speak. Then all you got to do is allow me to speak. All you got to do is allow me to speak. Don't explain. Allow me to speak. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. He I'll won't stop talking, play. Black Lion. At both places. Don't tell me to go. Time. Like y'all not y'all. I let you. I let this brother speak unencumbered for almost twenty minutes, bro. I'm muting my mic, bro. Go ahead. Thank you very much. Right, like like Garfield said, if you disagree with what I'm saying, come back and refute it once I'm done. Have some type of adult discipline, bro. My children don't even act like this. Now, the sons of Issachar, they're talking about Issachar, who we would have put in the time of the Exodus or or before the Exodus even begins. That's why I say I showed you in Exodus chapter one and six that all those people died. And then we get to the point of of, of first Chronicles seven and two, where it explains to you that these generations are explaining ex, are extending even to the point of Dawid, right, of David. And, it, and it, you do the same thing as you go down, right? When you get to the sons of Benjamin, it does the same thing in, in First Chronicles 7 and 6. And then when you get down to the sons of Nephtali, it does the same thing in, in First Chronicles 7 and 13. Well, technically not in 7 and 13 with, with Nephtali because his, his uh, bloodline doesn't go that far, right? At least according to the chronicle narrative. But even when you get to Mas- Manasseh and then when you get to Ephraim, you have to understand that these are extending of generations. That's the point that I'm saying. Now, you can try to take me and say that these people lived during the time of Ephraim, but you can't. Right. They don't. We don't even deal with the city of Beth Aran until the time of Joshua. And that's the only point that I'm making, according to the biblical. You read, you read now, Hebrew, right? Now, if you, you show Hebrew, me, right? bro, just you read, please. You read Hebrew. No, no, I was going to make a point. Why don't you go to the Hebrew? Bro, all you got to do is allow me to, all you got to do is allow me to finish. Now, if you want to bring up something in the Hebrew, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. If you want to bring up something in the Hebrew that I missed, I'll gladly allow you to do it. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Now, I want to point this out. This is the second time I've been on here. You keep doing the same thing. This is ridiculous. Uh, why do you do so much, bro? When you bro, bro, bro. Come on. Can't you just continue? Bro. Why do you do so much? All those little stop remarks. It's not necessary, bro. Come on, just, just man. Continue. Let's go. You're talking. Let's go, man. All the extra stuff. We don't need that. Let's go. Make you your talk. point. Prove there's an exodus. Let's go. Once again, not able to speak unencumbered. Right? Prove to... there's an exodus. Let's go. You able to make all your points? I'm addressing your last point. I ain't even been able to get into all my articles and showing you none of that. I ain't been all able right, to get bro. into none of that, bro. All right. Thank you, sir. I mean, can you have some? <laughs> this is crazy, bro. I, I, I'll tell you what, bro. You know what? I'm gonna let y'all have it because y'all gonna stop me every five seconds, and I don't have the time for that. All right, right? cool. All right. I know. So. Can- all right. Good night. All right. Oh, bro, all right. Man. So listen, That's right. I'm going to I'm going to show something on my screen real quickly for the family, just for edification. Whether you want to accept what Garfield says or not, that's totally up to you. I don't care. Let's deal with the information. I have no time for the sissy talk. Oh, you inter. Yo, I remember when I started talking, the dude interrupted me every single comment. Even you, Elder Yara, you interrupted me the whole time. 
Exactly. I didn't interrupt you the whole time. I simply him. asked you. Now, to ladies and gentlemen, your this is it right here. And the sons of Ephraim, Shuthelah, and Bered, his son, and Tahath, his son, and Elada, his son, and Tahath, his son, and Zabada, his son, and Shuthelah, his son, and Ezer, and Eliad, whom the men of Gath that were born in that land slew because they came down to take away their cattle. My issue is if they were in Egypt, they would not be coming down to Gath. They would be going up to Gath. That's the first dagger. So ladies and gentlemen, pay attention again. If the people who are his sons were going to Gath, they would not be going down. That means they are already in Canaan in another region. And Ephraim, remember where Gath is. Gath is where Goliath is from. So when David slew Goliath, that's where he's from. So we know where Gath is. So you know if you're going down, you're coming from Canaan. This is my point, ladies and gentlemen. Ephraim, why would Ephraim be now running down to see that his children are killed and mourning them? What is he doing in Canaan if he's supposedly dead? As the brother said in, in Exodus 1.6, he's supposedly dead. Now, Genesis 49ers, and whoever disagree with me, I don't give a flying fart. I'm just talking to people to think. How could Ephraim, ladies and gentlemen, be in Egypt, dead or alive, and be in Canaan, dead or alive at the same time? It doesn't make sense. It's two traditions in your biblical text. I'm going to ask one question to my brother, um, to my brother Yara. I'm going to ask, brother Yara, are you there? I have one question for you. Yeah, and, I want, yeah. and I want you to be honest. I'm the name, do you know a name Beersheba in the Bible? Yes. Beersheba. Yes. Who named Beersheba? Who named Based Beersheba? On studies in the Bible. I'm talking Bible, not history, archaeology. Who named Beersheba? Who named Beersheba? That would be, I believe that would have been, that would have been David or Solomon. Abraham, Abraham right? I'm going to help you out. Abraham. I'm not he would, he to wouldn't have, no, 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 no. See, this is what I'm saying. No, 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 no. I'm not trying no, to dagger no, no, you. This no, is no, my no, point. This is my point. Hold on, beloved. I'm not trying to dagger you. Trust me. No, no, Trust no. It's me. not a dagger. This is my I'm point. Just saying, this is my Abraham point. would not have used those words. No, 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 no. no. Abraham. So how could it be Abraham? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Listen to me. Listen to me. Abraham, the name was given after Abraham or by Abraham, according to the Bible. Hold on. It was given me, after let me, let me bring it up. Let me bring it up. Let me bring it up. Which is what I just told you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is what I'm saying. You don't understand when you read something. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not trying to dagger you. No, it's not a dagger. I'm just trying to get you to understand hold on, hold on, hold on, when you're asking these listen, questions listen, about these names, saying. like Beth or Ron. Bro, you're, people, not, you're not getting my point. Those are names it's, that have been written ad anachronistically. Okay, right. About okay, places okay. that look at, exist. Look at the screen. Look at the screen. I want you to look at the screen right quick. Look at the screen. All right, that's fine. It's not difficult. Listen friend. to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying, brother. I'm not arguing or nothing. All I'm saying to you is the name Beersheba, according to the text, was because though the name Beersheba comes from the Hebrew Beersheba meaning well of seven or well of oath. Though the exact origin of the name is disputed, according to the Bible, the city gained its moniker as a result of the patriarchs Abraham and Isaac digging seven wells in the area after having sworn two separate oaths there with the Philistine king Abimelech. Meaning, in one part of Genesis, it was Abraham, the Bible said it was from. Another part says it was because of Isaac. It's a doubling of Bro. the story. Hold on. Listen no, to my it's point. not. Hold Bro. on. Hold on. Listen to you what I'm saying. You just read it. Hold read on. the very first Hold part on. of what you just read. No, 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 no. No, no, no. We could go to the no, scripture. No, no, no. Read the very Listen first part of the information Listen. you just Listen. read. Because Those that exact daggers, origin bro. of the name is disputed. Right. Why Hold is the origin on. of the Hold name on. disputed? Because it's Abraham or Isaac would have been Hold on. Hold on. My brother, it's disputed because they only find it. Bro, can you just hear me out, please? Can you just hear me out? I don't, please, Elder. I'm not trying to dagger you and say, I got you. Trust me. Trust me. I'm making a bigger point. The point I'm making is in the Bible, it is said it's a result of the patriarchs Abraham in one part of Genesis. In another part, it says it's because of Isaac. The issue now is which one of the versions is true. It's not about being true. 
It's about different groups who you have the Isaac tradition and you have an Abraham tradition. You even have triple stories. Sometimes Abraham, Isaac, and Joseph got the same story. The point I'm trying to make is the writers are doing that. It's the same thing with the Exodus. With Ephraim, there's one tradition in the Bible by one set of writers. There's another tradition that said he went into Egypt. This is the Yahwistic tradition. This is the point I'm trying to make. No, so no, when we argue, now, hold on. You, so when, so hold on. So when the we are arguing the Exodus, Elder, yeah, that's incorrect. You so can't use the document the hypothesis the Exodus, to explain that. What, say that again, my brother. Use the documentary hypothesis to use that when you say this is the Yahweh is writing. You right, can't right, 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 right. Document I'm, I'm not saying it that. to dagger you. I don't want you to feel like I'm coming at you. No, no, I'm saying you dagger. I'm just having a conversation. a larger point. I'm trying to make a larger point. Ephraim cannot be in Canaan and being, and me and you could sit down, me and you could dialogue, bro. I'm not on no disrespect with you because I know you for years. Yes. I'm just saying with the Ephraim issue, it is an issue you guys have to answer to. In mm -hmm. Genesis 46, he's having children and grandchildren. Benjamin has 10 children in one part of the Bible, in, in one version of the Bible, and in another version, he has great grandchildren going into Egypt. There's no way that's impossible. Uh huh. Uh -huh. That's impossible. He can't have uh -huh. no children. Well, yeah, bro, would you agree? Nine years old. And tradition. Nobody having no kids. Here? No twin. No, no, hold on. Nobody having kids and me, grandchildren before they are four years old. Nobody's doing that. I don't care which God you believe in, bro. You again. I'm good because you you agreed with me earlier, even though you disagree with me. You came back and you said I. You you basically agree with me. When we we're saying you, you wanted to use the term retroactive when I used it originally used the term anachronistic. You said retroactive. Anachronistic. I'm not gonna haggle you over there with that. But Yara, different. but Yara, I don't that's I don't what think we're reading, is man. the right word. I don't think anachronistic no, is the right fine. word. That's fine. That's fine. I'll use your term because I can use anachron I can use retroactive. Anachronistic is like anachronistic is like hold on, hold on. Exodus. Anachronistic, hold on, brother. Hold on, brother. Anachronistic would be like um Pyramuses. That's an argument that people bring up about anachron anachronisms. Or if there's a place that never got built before the seventh century mm -hmm. BC, that's anachronism. Mm -hmm. trying, to, trying to hold on, hold on, trying to put a city in like the 1400s BC when the city was not built before seventh century BC. That's mm -hmm. that's slightly incorrect. Slightly, okay, incorrect. Bro. but okay. uh, but go ahead, Chris. I know I know Chris was wanted to, wanted to say something. Bro, I can't get nothing out. I was, oh, I, I, was I, was back on. I, I didn't know you was back on. I, I'm sorry. I apologize. Oh, oh, I was listening to you. You, you, you left. No, I didn't leave. He kicked me no, off. He Stop kicked him off. My, he Stop ain't gonna leave, bro. bro. Stop playing, bro. You don't do that. <laughs> oh, I just seen you. I just seen you disappear. I didn't know. Right, 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 right. Go ahead. I... <laughs> All right, bro. All right, listen, it's two minutes left in the show. I want to say thank you guys for coming on. Wow. All right. <laughs> you. If you want to come on, if you want to come on again and build, we could get we, you could come on and build. And yeah. I'm sure people took what they what they heard. And it's unfortunate that we didn't really get into the Exodus. No, it's not. That's what you Hold want. On. Hold on a second. <laughs> That's what you Damn. want. Damn. Is there a way for me to make somebody else a moderator on a hey. yard that you guys know about? Hey Garfield, let me say something in close. Hold on, Chris. Hold on, Chris. Okay. I'm trying to figure this out. I don't stream yard. I don't. I don't know. I don't stream yard. Right. Yeah. All right. So basically, from what I've learned from the brother today is that Manfred Bitak talks about nomads, and he's trying to say the nomad people, those nomadic people, are Israelites. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but he was that's right about I, creep, creeping con uh, conquest. He was right about that. <laughs> Dead on the money on that one. What's up? What's up, brother Unc? So I've been kind of listening to the conversation and a lot of Hebrews is sticking their chin out there and their chest out there. And, <laughs> you know, I like to say, you know, don't put, don't put, your, don't put your glasses in the ring because uh, I'll slap them off. Yeah, I ain't mad at you. You know what, <laughs> what I mean? You know what I mean? I've been, I'm, I'm, I'm going to show y'all something that's real slick. And so he get to come on and talk, but y'all ain't let me talk the whole time. <laughs> oh, man, I said two minutes. Two minutes. And I'm shut out. the show down. Go like, ahead. how come everybody else get to talk except for oh, the Oh, man. This guy. Maybe because. Go ahead. Go ahead. Because the nigga ain't earned the right to get on there and talk nowhere. Because he ain't earned the right to do nothing. So. Oh, you say, because I'm what? 
You ain't earned the right to talk nowhere, but in a guy that going hat box some damn way. But who is you? Who is you? I'm not going to call you. Who is you to tell me I can't speak? I'm not mad at you, brother. I, I'm I mad know at you me. not, because you ain't nobody to tell somebody they can't speak. This y'all yeah. problem, bro. Right no now. great no, that you had ass. Oh, no, no, this is irrelevant. Hey, 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 disrespect is yeah, yeah, irrelevant. Bro. You no, sitting no, you, around disrespecting. Oh, man. No, 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 I ain't never talked to you. No, I'm saying I'm going, bro. Let him talk. Let him talk. None of y'all gangbangers, so stop trying to act like it. None of us be on the show. We be on the show. You're not a gangbanger, yo. You're not a gangbanger. We too old for that. We too old for that, bro. We too old for that. So I don't even know why you Hold on. Hold on. What are you saying? What's up? Listen, listen. So here's the rule. They're trying to over talk and bring in gang banging like they really got that banger. in gang banging, bro. Okay, so then stop talking. The homeboy is getting sick. We would actually meet up and start shooting each other because we wouldn't, bro. Okay, look. Hold on. Y'all talking that narrative. Bro, I've it's never talked right. about shooting you. You got to admit, if you've been watching the whole time, you got to admit that they've been cutting me off the entire time. How? You talked a lot, bro. We didn't cut you off the whole time. Bro, please go back. You frustrated, bro. You frustrated, yo. I get it, I'm extremely calm, bro. Bro. I've been I, trying but, to talk but, the whole listen, time. Listen, like, you, look, no one wants I'm, to hear a, a reverend lecture from you. you I'm not no reverend. I'm not ideas real quick. Now you're being disrespectful. <laughs> I have not know how to put your ideas. Hey, listen, that's your you whole, that's your whole live list. I, I could go that's live with home. um I could go right. live with um with with um what you call it? Not StreamYard, the other one. So y'all y'all could take over. Mm. Yeah, you could give me the link. Um, What's the name yeah, of it? Um, it uh, Zoom. Zoom. Yeah. So you right, want me to come on to another stream so y'all can disrespect no, me? No, no, you ain't got to come nowhere, bro. Oh, hey, bro. Man. I'm having hey. no way. Hey. I'm having no way. I'm having no way. Yo, he cut me off the whole time. Hey, you know, hey, we get it. We get it, bro. It's 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 high tension running. I'm going to start the Zoom right now. Let me ask these guys a question, though. They got their chest stuck out like it ain't 47,000 other religions. Okay. So y'all going to sit here as black people to tell me out of the millions of gods that y'all got the God based off the fact that y'all got y'all shit in some written format? Like, 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 are y'all the most arrogant black people on earth at this point? Like, I get your religion, and I ain't sweating you. I ain't tripping. But so what about the other thousand, hundred thousand gods, though? What about what the other 47,000 gods? So I'm going to ask you this. Do you, do you, you, do you, do you, do you, listen, while y'all was in Egypt, what technology did y'all leave in Egypt? What, what is it? What, give me, give me one groundbreaking idea that the black Israelites brought to the world. And without that groundbreaking brand new idea, the whole world would not be what it is today. And I'm, and I'm listening and I'm going to shut up and I'm going to watch y'all buck dance. Go ahead. Well, when you talk about groundbreaking ideas, no one has come through with a groundbreaking idea. Every culture builds upon another culture. So your, your question and from the beginning is fallacious. So, so you need to leave that. You need to leave the question, I, just the I just answered the question. I just answered the question. I just answered your question. So you I said, said no. You said no. So you said I just no. said no. no culture no. of people. So you said no. So you said no, right? No culture of people. Wait, so you all said no, right? Have improved. So you said no, correct? I'm not, I'm not saying no. I'm saying all cultures have no, improved. All cultures have improved. No, you're improving all cultures, and then you try to, and then you oh, try to I'm isolate Israel. Stop, like, stop, stop it, bro. So won't you ask me the same question or not? Are you going to answer the question or not? You didn't answer the question or not. You didn't answer the question. All cultures have improved upon other cultures. Uh, just me, that's simply ground, like saying, me, hold on, bro, 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 give me a groundbreaking improvement. Let me ask you this. The world without it would not be what it is today. Right. Let, me, hey, let, me, let me ask you this, bro. I'm that's a fallacious question. It's childish and immature. We want to talk about history, archaeology, culture. Hold on, that's a childish question. The fact of the matter is, you can't show me a goddamn thing Kimmy did that they didn't build from another culture. 
Okay, so do you want you me can, to hold answer? on? Hold on, bro. You can't show me you any you can't show me any you African culture that didn't build you want me to answer that didn't build upon the that didn't use the technology. Built upon on, another on, culture. Hey, 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 it's a yeah, childish yeah, question. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. Hold on, Yara, Yara, Yara. Yara. Did he just be? Did he just? Did he just? Did he just, did he just, did he just avoid all that? Oh, um, let me, let me, let me, let me start a whole new show. I'm gonna start a whole new show. All right. All right, right fam. Yeah, nobody is scared of what you're saying, bro. And he's still talking that nonsense. No, what is it that you said? There's nothing that you said that's groundbreaking, nothing. In other words, I got y'all checking out Ephraim right now. Now I got y'all reading Chronicles in Genesis 46. Garfield got y'all doing that. Stop it. It's an argument in reality, bro. You, you, you cannot, it's, it's like trying to argue with Sister Cherry about the Bible. They're using biblical narratives that they, they're using evidence like David and Solomon, you can't argue right. with a believer when it comes to that. I'm gonna end the show. I'm gonna end the show. I'm gonna end the show. I'm gonna end it. I'm gonna end it right now. All right, hold on. Now.